Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Colorado Buffaloes and the Washington Huskies. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I tell you what, you get shock city, especially if they come out and make shots early. I think it's essential when you're an underdog, you got to protect the basketball and make shots early. Put pressure on the team that's the favorite. The Huskies should have an easy one tonight, Dick. How do they keep this team from sneaking up on them? Hey, here's my keys for them tonight. First, get the ball in the interior. See if you can get their big men into foul trouble. Second of all, take care of the ball on offense and play aggressive perimeter defense. And finally, you can't win, baby, if you don't get the glass. You must rebound. Rebounding is the key. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action and see what's in store for us. Both teams looking to get things going here. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. They go into the low block. A little frustration right there. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He tries a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Down inside. Pump fakes. He's got a nice shot fake with a little baby hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. When you get help, you can take that pass away. He does the sweet fake shot. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Now trying to feed the low block. Turns it over. He shoots from the top of the circle was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. He was highly recruited out of high school. Hopefully he'll continue to develop and really blossom into something special. Gets it back out. Looking for a good shot. He wants a three. Sinks it. Trying to go inside. And they do. They got it on the low block. There's a high screen. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Try to feed the low block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the center gets the ball. Big man spins down the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He pump fakes. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. And again, they look to run. For two, makes it. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Isn't it great, Brad? Puts up the tray. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Right now, it's a one-man show. The other players need to step up. There's the trap. Gave it up. Here's a double team. On the dribble, gives it up. Richardson is feeling great right now. Hey, Brad, I love players that play with emotion. That's why I love the college game. 
Colorado is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. They work the perimeter. The center gets the pass. Leans in. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Great steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure. Just enough to force the steal. Our three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing now, my friend. circle. He's money with the shot. With anticipation defensively, the point guard takes the feed. Up and inside! Steals a pass. Poor judgment results in a backcourt violation. You got to take care of the rock, baby. Ball coming in from the sideline. Time to pick up the defense here now. Way out, rejects it. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He can't shake the pressure. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. It's his second. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They're going bananas. Moving it around the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a they had his shot block. And the ball goes out of play. I tell you, what emotion, what an edge for the home team. High post player flashing. Let's it fly. Colorado are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. Picks off the pass. Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. Jumped in front to take it away. The shooting guard with the ball. For the bucket. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the shot. They're working 
around the perimeter. Here he is defensively, and this is going to be an Academy Award, Dick. Absolutely, Academy Award at its best. On the outside, the power forward takes the pass. High post screen. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. He hits the shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Shoots from outside. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. Another turnover. You're not talking out the turnovers either. Knocks it down. There he is, puts the ball loose. Tries for two. Easy one. Let's see if it looks as good on the replay. Top of the circle. That was nice. Working it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. The Huskies have become regulars at the NCAA tournament, Dick. Well, they're a lot of fun to watch. It's great to see a program develop. They are red hot from behind the arc, Dick. They're rolling at all cylinders right now. <laughs> right there trying to play that passing lane anticipated really well work the perimeter spacing so important get 15 to 17 feet apart way off target that's good it looks as though they have a shooter spotting up let's see if they can get a good shot this trip With eight. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. This could be a highlight. For two, he gets that one to fall. Intercepted. On the outside. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from outside. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. Takes it off him. Goes up for two. Goes in. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, this is not what anyone expected heading into tonight's matchup. Some sort of rhythm needs to be established now. Thanks, Aaron. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Oh, what a strip, Red.
for the bucket. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. Look at that spacing. He attempts the three. They're on fire deck from behind the arc. I'd like to see how long they can keep this up. right on his hip and I think he's holding his ground dick doing a great job I tell you doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off isolated on the outside they're working around the arc looking for the open jumper he shoots from the top of the key off the rim and no good Too many dribbles and a steal. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I think he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Ball movement, get that good spacing. The center takes the pass in the basket's good and the foul. That's a big play. He was there when they needed him, baby. He's mocking the crowd. Now that's one saw in the wound. The fans are definitely going to be annoyed with him. Man, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. off looking for a good shot tries for two great play to take that to the basket the fans are patiently waiting for something exciting to happen so far the crowd has had nothing to cheer about he goes for three the Huskies have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick that he's on fire The circle they work it around the perimeter. Perfectly executed. He intercepts it. On the outside. Taken away. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. How about a replay, boys? <laughs> Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They get the 45 degree angle, which is essential when entering the ball to the post. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dribble gives it up. He shoots from long range. Way off target. 
Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. Steals a pass. Pushes it up. Goes up for two. Makes the shot. The center in the paint for the bucket. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? They're definitely having some fun out there. Gets his first. screen can't get the shot to go up and in up and inside Oliveira makes a great move to draw the foul Nick look at the number of points off turnovers I tell you getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score Brad you want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can He makes the first shot. Both free throws go. In the paint. Double team now, bad angle. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. Entry pass in the paint. There they come with a double team to stop it. top of the circle. The Huskies have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes a three. He drains it. perimeter here's a double team they strip him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there baby nice fake tries for two I tell you a terrific shot really impossible to get a piece of that baby they'll work it around the arc Picks off the pass. Jumps into the defender. Perfectly executed. From the top of the key. Gets it to fall. Working around the perimeter. He tries the three. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. 
shot clock is dead. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Makes the block. On the dribble, gives it up. Jumped in front to take it away. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. At the end of the first half, the Buffaloes lead by 29. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. Washington has been giving up the ball like it's worth nothing. Yeah, Brad, I don't know if I've ever seen a team turn it over the ball like this. They're basically telling their opponents to keep attacking them. Everyone likes to see the lower-ranked team beat the higher-ranked team, it seems. I like to call it David versus Goliath, rooting for the underdog. And a lot of times, Brad, the underdog surprises everyone and steals the W. Shoots it. The Huskies have been looking to go that one extra step in postseason play. In 2005 and 2006, they made it to the Sweet 16 and the Elite 8, respectively. Hey, well, it seems as though they're moving in the right direction. They just have to get over the hump. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. There's a double team waiting there. The ball goes out of bounds. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all had good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. That's Matador defense. Nobody coming over. Nobody giving any help. I mean, that's how you see better defense on the playground. The ball goes out of play. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. Up and inside. Got an open look if he wants it. Looks at the three. The Huskies have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Control of the ball. We get another look. Gave it up. Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He's trying to speed up the tempo of this game. And he missed. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. He shoots from left of the circle. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17. He rejects it. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Run him right into the screen again. What did I say? Up and inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. And he scores despite the hack.
goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Intercepted. For the bucket. Sinks the shot. Outside. He looks for three. He knocks down another bucket. Dick. This kid's got skills, Brad. Gave it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. to take that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy that wants shooting the ball. Good fake. He shoots from right of the circle. There was no doubt about that one. Now work it around the arc. And the ball goes out of bounds. This Mr. Nestler, he has a little something for the opposition. That to me is a no-no. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. The student section looks like they're having a great time. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Fake. High post screen. So effective, that screen. On the inside. Tries for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. All right, thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you know, great post play. You got a chance really to win. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Huskies are behind by 19. up for two. Perfectly executed. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. They are running right through this defense. The bombs are bursting, baby. Takes the pass in the paint. It, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. the circle they work it around the perimeter great play to take that to the basket get that sucker out of the game man trying to draw some contact
territory. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. Way out on top, controlling the ball. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this was something before the game the coaching staff warned the players all about. Don't believe in all this pre-game hype. Looks like some of these guys were reading too many newspapers before tonight's game. Thanks, Aaron. As we take a look here at our backcourt production. Hey, Brad, I'll tell you one thing. Productivity from the backcourt is a must. You must initiate the offense, distribute the ball, and score. These are all things that you rely on your backcourt to do. With a bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Steals the ball. It's a fast break possibility. Tries for two. Look at that shot. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> away the pass goes for the deep one this one has really gotten ugly my friend yeah it's all but over unless things change in a hurry Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Trying to stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. Picked out of the air. That's going to be a backcourt violation, Dick. Hey, the defense did their job, baby. Sideline inbounds. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. From right in the circle, he drains the bucket. things around here for the moment Dick. I don't think so but we'll wait and see Brad kicks off the lazy pass excellent spacing that's so important with a good offensive set it's even more important to have time for guards like that yeah that helps Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Drains the shot. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. Side jumper, way off target. There's the trap. Stolen away. He looks to run. Sets the screen for his teammate. Count it and the foul. That's how he likes it, baby. This one's turning into a big blow, baby. Charity strike. He sinks it. Oh. 
They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And there appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Drives one from three-point land. Off the rim and no good. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position. Has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Fakes it. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. The Buffaloes are up by 24. He shoots from the top of the key. Knocks it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Let's see that up close. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. He intercepts it. He puts it up. Way off target. And he scores it off the glass. Dumps it in. Entry pass in the paint. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I'll tell you, great spin move to the basket. In the paint. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. <laughs> On the inside. Jump hook from the low post. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Inside outside action always works. Inside, nobody rotates down to look on top. Up and inside. Fires away. It sticks. On the outside. On the inside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Off the rim and no good. Well, Dick, this game is all but over. That's all she wrote, Brad. This one is a done deal. Oh, oh. 
for two. Perfectly executed. Picks off the pass. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Goes up for two. Look at this effort! He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Didn't give it to him down low. Going the other way. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to draw the foul. Makes it. There's a double team waiting there. Definitely a foul. How's the front court productivity tonight, Dick? You know, Brad, basketball is a big man's game. If you have a few on your team and are active and energetic, it makes your team that much better. Ultimately, you want all of your players to be productive, and inside presence will separate your team from others. him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Puts up the tray. Gets it to go. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. Here, a five-second call forced by that determined defense. You talk about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. The offense sets up from the sideline. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Oh, big time screen set on the defender. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. Gave it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Steal. Shot clock is dead. He launches a three. He gets the shot to fall. They'll work it around the arc. He intercepts it. 
He's auditioning for the halftime show with that shot. He misses from way outside. Washington can't pull this one out. Very good game. This is going to be hard to swallow since they were the favorites coming into this game. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.